What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're sitting in the white E36 M3 and I haven't been driving this car for a very long time as I said in the previous video that I was working on the blue M3 and simple reason being is because I actually tore the uh, steering shaft or whatever it's called so the wheels they don't actually turn together. It's like that rubberized piece that connects the, uh, what's it called, the steering rack and the actual steering shaft and they're just completely disconnected so let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we got the steering wheel and let me just open the door and let's just say that I want to turn the steering wheel or actually I need my keys for that. So, oh yep, there you go, see. So that's pretty much what happened. So I was doing quite a bit of research and I noticed that people do the E34 like this uh, specialized metal bushing or the metal bushing replacement if I was to be more accurate and it's just literally a metal bracket that connects from the steering shaft to the uh, steering rack itself so I didn't want to go that route because I didn't want to feel like all the vibration inside the car and like I didn't want to feel the vibration from the steering wheel and I just I'm not sure maybe I might do it later down the road but it's just not something that I want to do this car is stiff enough as it is and um, still my daily driver and holds up awesome in that field so uh, definitely would recommend that to anybody else but uh, so let's get started on the steering shaft bushing. So to replace it, it's fairly simple. It's just two 13 millimeters, one on this side, one on that side. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually disconnect or loosen up or whatever it's called, my uh, steering wheel, just so it's easier on me. So what I literally just did is just put this uh, open end key, held the 13 mil in the back, took a D-wall impact and just took it to town. So that's all it took. Now I just gotta hammer this part off, or maybe it'll come off on its own. Yeah, I doubt it. Um, I'll hammer this part off and I'll get probably to the second part over here. All right, so I decided to film this before I took it off. So basically, um, for the bottom part, so the part that's connected to the actual steering rack, you can see I already got it mostly off. And pretty much what I'm doing is, after unbolting this bolt, I took two uh, three quarters of an extension so this is about maybe like eight, I don't know, nine inches long. And I'm putting the this end right here against the corner. And I'm kind of just beating on that part right there. And it's uh, tending to work out great for me. So that's what I'm doing over there. But as far as removing this top part, I'm unsure what I'm going to be doing because it's going to be a little bit harder. And I think I'm going to have to stick like a screwdriver in this slit right there just to kind of spread it out a little bit so I can hammer it off easier but i'll let you guys know what i do because this is kind of a tedious process and whew, it's tiring laying underneath the car so i got a little carried away so i got it taken off but basically what i did is i stuck a screwdriver that's like kind of fat right here so it kind of spreads it out like this and i started hammering down on this part right here i moved the uh shaft right here or the stem so it's like in between this control arm right here and the oil pan. And I just kind of started hammering it down like this. So like with this part of the hammer, like the circular part. But let's compare old versus new steering stem. So here we got the old one. Has a couple miles on it, like maybe three or four miles on it. And then we have this brand new one. So not a big difference, but I think this should really increase the uh, steering ability from what this one was. Um, you can see this is that S-Class comfort mode so you don't feel any vibrations in the steering wheel. And this is the premium plus package for like, you know, the regular average driver. So let's go ahead and pop this thing in. All right, so in order for me to install this junk, what I did is I kind of caught the threads or these little uh, grooves, the lines, kind of stuck it on there, wiggled it in as much as I could just to make sure that I'm on the lines and you know like i don't mess up anything so i kind of put it up maybe like i don't know a couple centimeters then i grabbed a hammer and just started going ham on it um later i took a socket and kind of put it underneath it like this and it just kind of started beating around and you know like i would beat it right here right there right there right there being very carefully not to kind of damage the uh inner parts right here so when I got it as far up as I could, I just, you know, torqued this thing down and it was good to go. You can see that 
this gap at the bottom is a lot thicker than the one up top so definitely shouldn't be going anywhere anytime soon and i think if i remember correctly i'm gonna need to slide out the steering rack because this thing won't slide in or you know sit there properly so i'm gonna need to slide off the steering rack catch the uh threads or the grooves again and basically just do the same thing again all right so to remove the steering rack basically uh there should be one bolt right here and there's another one right there and i kind of dropped them down because even if the uh nuts and i had this in a previous video somewhere i think if the nuts ever do come loose and they fall out then you still have some sort of support so the bolt right there and the steering rack isn't going to be swaying left and right because chances are that if the nut falls off at the bottom right here and this bolt stays here chances are that this chunk isn't gonna you know move up because i'm literally smacking the crap out of it okay so there we go um but at the top it's still gonna stay in place and your steering rack is less prone to kind of move around because i had that happen before and my bolt just kind of dropped out towards the bottom and uh yeah my steering rack had a lot of play and i almost ended up in the curb so <laughs> make sure to be careful with that um so yeah basically just pick these two bolts up after unscrewing the nuts and you can shift the steering rack forward after which you should have enough clearance to uh put this little piece in all right, so check it out. I got both the bolts out. So now the steering rack moves freely. And the more I look at the underbody of this car, the more it makes me want to cry. Because I literally just cleaned all of this up. And I'm not sure if this is oil or if this is power steering reservoir stuff. Because I'm thinking this is power steering because everything is literally coming from that general area right there. And literally just makes me want to cry because I literally just had this all cleaned up. I have a new oil pan on and the oil pan doesn't seem to be leaking. So it can't be that. For now, let's just stay focused. Um, move the steering rack out like that. And I should gain enough space. So yeah, there you go. You can see I'm gaining a lot more space. I just need to slide the steering rack a little bit out further. Maybe like another like half an inch and should be ready to put this thing on. All right, so it's been like 20 minutes. And man, this thing is a hassle to get in. I think the next time that I'm gonna be putting on this bushing right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with putting it on the rack first and then i'm gonna try to slide it up into this top portion right there into that shaft because you got to slide the rack around way too much and it's just too hard to do that i'd rather beat like on an extent extension like where i put it up to here and like extend it down to like this part right here and like start beating it up until this piece right here um it might not make sense but i'll probably do it in the future video if i'm going to be converting to the e34 but at least it's on so i just tighten everything up and she's good to go just make sure that you drop in these bolts right here for the uh steering rack right there right here i already got one up over here so as you can see the bolts like kind of facing down the nut is going up so i'm gonna do the same thing right here and i'm gonna wrap this project up all right so only other thing that i would suggest doing is messing around with the steering wheel so take the airbag off and you know like unbolt the steering wheel flip it around or whatever put it properly so that uh the wheels are straight i forgot to do that and i was driving literally for like half a week or maybe a week around with literally a steering wheel that was flipped 180 degrees so like upside down so that's the only other thing that i would suggest doing but that's gonna be a wrap on this video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it i don't know maybe if you guys want to see something else go ahead and comment down in the comment section down below what you want to see i have a lot of ideas already and i'm actually in the middle of an install video right now that Oh, it makes the car look so good. You guys are really going to enjoy this next mod because, man, I'm telling you, it's so nice. And the way that the car looks right now, it's already installed. Whew. I'm telling you, it's on a different level. This is going to cut it for this video, like I said. So if you enjoyed it, click that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment anything down that you want to see in the future. Um, but I'm going to get back to this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.